What's up guys and welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> So we made it to LA. We are actually here in our Airbnb and I had already started vlogging and I realized I didn't film an intro. So this is me saying hey and we made it to LA and Louis made it as well. He was such a good boy on the plane. Um, it was definitely an interesting experience flying with him, but he was so good. He didn't even make a noise on the plane. Like we were so happy and he has been loving LA so far. If you guys have been following on my Instagram stories, you have seen some of the trip um, unfolding. And so by the time this vlog is up, we'll probably have been here for a week already. So um, there's been a lot happening already the past couple days. I vlogged our day trip to Venice Beach. So you guys will definitely see that next. Yeah, Louis has been loving it here in LA. It's kind of a joke now that it, LA Louis has been activated. Like he honestly is just walking around everywhere. Like he's so happy. He loves it here in the sun. And yeah, we're just really happy and are having so much fun so far. So it is currently Saturday. We arrived here on Wednesday. So we've been here for a few days and just kind of getting, you know, our bearings with the area that we're in and just kind of like spending time off social media and the vlog just to kind of experience a little bit and be super present but i'll definitely be vlogging like through the trip um and i'm thinking it'll be like a week in the life here in la so i'm not sure how this vlog is all going to come together but it's going to be a lot of just things that we get up to and yeah i actually have to shoot this outfit I'm still obviously working while we're here because we're here for a couple weeks. Mitch is also doing some work this morning. It is like 9.30 and the one good thing about um, being on Toronto time is we wake up so early. So we have like the whole day um, because our clock is like three hours ahead. Today we are thinking of going to Santa Monica, the pier there, and going for lunch because today's supposed to be a really nice day. Like it's already... I think 20 degrees outside the sun is shining let me show you we have this cute little like front yard and louis has been loving it like he likes to just sit out in the sun there so that's been perfect to have this for him so i will obviously bring you guys along for all of the fun activities that we get up to and it's gonna be a cool vlog the last you guys saw we were crazy packing and like trying to get ready for our flight and our flight was at 8 a.m. So we were literally up at like 3.30 because we needed to give so much time, especially because we were bringing Louie and just we weren't sure what to expect at the airport with him. And good thing we left early because we literally just made it to our flight any longer. We probably could have missed it. And I don't know why everything was like really busy and backed up but we made it through. So if my editing process goes the way I think it will, um, I'm gonna share our Venice Beach day with you guys next and then just carry on with the vlog in more of chronological order. But I really wanted to share that day with you just because we got some really cool shots and it was so fun because we brought Louis. So yeah, let's go to Venice Beach. Right, Louis? 
never been around like this, like in stores and stuff. You can go in anywhere. Yeah. He's welcome here. Yeah. yeah. We're just watching people doing rollerblading. It's like dance rollerblading. I can't explain it. Let's see if I can zoom in here. It's crazy. Though. Yeah, this is what our view is right now. People are just vibing here. This is so fun. It's like people here are just living life. Yeah. You know? There's actually a wall over there and everyone just spray paints on it. I guess. Oh I it's yeah. What was he doing? Did you say make some friends with some people that were sleeping? Good boy. He loves the beach. He loves the beach. I love the beach. You love the beach. I love the beach. We all love the beach. <laughs> What's up guys? It is Sunday. Um, so the last you guys probably saw was the clips over at Venice Beach. Yesterday we did go down to, what's it called again? The place we were at? Uh, Santa Monica Pier. Santa Monica Pier. And I didn't vlog it. Um, I don't know, I just decided not to bring the vlog camera because we were just going for lunch and walking around and yeah, but Today we are going to a really cool vintage market called the Melrose Trading Post and it happens every Sunday. I've been a few times and they have some really good uh, vintage finds. So we're gonna go grab some brunch and go do that. Mitch is trying to find a good brunch spot. He honestly finds the best places. Like I always know things just from Instagram but he'll just like whip out some places that I've never even like heard before but it'll always be so good. Um, She's but hyping me up. I know, so now you have to deliver. I know. But I think we actually might go to a place we already have been to um, earlier this week for lunch, just because, I don't know. What the do poll think? did so well. Oh, yeah. If you guys saw on my Instagram, I put up a poll of like who ordered better, and everyone voted for Mitch. It was like 70% him, 30% <laughs> me. But it's fine. Maybe I'll get it next time. So I gotta redeem myself at brunch for sure. We'll definitely bring you guys along for any vintage finds that we find today. And for brunch, Louis is probably just going to hang out here because- He has a busy day. He has a busy day ahead of him of some napping, but we're not bringing him today just because I think it's like a half an hour walk from where we are to get there and it's just too long for him to walk there. So yeah, but he'll be fine here. He's very cozy and um, comfortable, so yeah. We'll bring you guys along for all the fun stuff. Okay guys, we just finished brunch and we were just talking about how here in LA there's like no one walking on the streets. It's a ghost town. Like, if this was a day in Toronto, this nice of a day, like these sidewalks would be packed with people. But I feel like it's just a thing in LA, like everyone's driving, no one really walks. I don't know, it's weird. That's but we walk everywhere. That's so bad, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Well, we love to walk, so we're walking. We're, we're walkers. Yeah. And we're headed to the Melrose Trading Post now. And we should be there soon. It's gonna be really cool. Mitch has never been before. Never. But we both love vintage shopping, as you guys know. So hopefully what are you we looking find piece wise. Maybe like a t-shirt or something, like a really oversized tee. Okay. This looks like a good spot. Crossroads, yeah, I've heard of this. But yeah, we will bring you guys along. Yeah, yeah. A little tiny. It's a little too tiny. Too big. Too big. Can I see those? Kind of 
a weird shape. Yeah. I like the yellow lens, okay. but kind of a weird shape. What's up guys, we just got back from the Melrose Trading Post and of course, I did find some things. So I'm gonna show you guys what I found because I found some goodies. Okay, so the first piece I found was this Nike Spell Out hoodie. And I don't have anything like this in my collection so I had to grab it when I saw it because I've been eyeing these hoodies for a while. And if you watch my vintage crew neck collection video, I don't have one of these, but you guys know my obsession. And I also got this Nike crew neck. Like I need more Nike crew necks. Like I think I have enough, but clearly I do have a little bit of an addiction. I got this red Nike air sweater and it's like showing up brighter on camera, but it's this really nice washed out red. And I got this one in a large and this one in an extra large. So crazy because I feel like if these were in Toronto, like they would not even be just sitting there. These would sell so fast. So when I saw them, I'm like, whoa, no one got these. I checked out so fast and they're like legit ones, you know, authentic. Cause you can tell by the tags. Yeah, so good. Now I think we're just gonna order in some food tonight. It's Sunday, Euphoria is on, so we're gonna watch that and catch up on some of our shows and just end the night here. So I'll definitely see you guys tomorrow or whenever I think there's something exciting to vlog. What's up guys? It is many days later. I feel like the last I vlogged was probably Sunday when we went to the Melrose Trading Post. And the last few days we've honestly just been kind of chilling doing some work and then going for lunch or something in the afternoon and kind of just walking around. So I didn't have much to vlog, but today is Thursday and we're actually going for a hike at the Runyon Canyon Park or like, I don't know what it's called. I think Runyon Canyon Park. And yeah, I've never been before. I've never been on a hike here in LA and it's something I've wanted to do because I've heard the views are amazing. So Mitch and I are both gonna do that. It's also his first time doing this. so. It's gonna be fun. Funny story, so yesterday we bought Justin Bieber tickets because tonight he was to have a show um, here in LA. Um, and an hour after I purchased the tickets, the tour page on Instagram announced that they are postponing the show because I guess Justin has COVID, but like he had COVID a week ago and they canceled one of the shows. So we figured like if they hadn't canceled this show, it would have been fine. So a little bit of a bummer, but yeah, they canceled it. So now we're just trying to figure out if we can get our money back or we might have to come back to LA in July. So we will see. Um, there might even be a way that we can get a credit and go to the Toronto show instead. So we're figuring that out, but I was so excited to go. Like all day yesterday, I was talking about how excited I was that tonight we were gonna be seeing him in concert. And yeah, so that's not happening tonight. And I was gonna bring you guys along for that, but sadly that is not happening but hopefully we will still be able to see him at a future date or come back in July for the show. I may not bring my camera because we're not bringing like a bag or anything, but hopefully I will get some clips on my phone to show you guys the views and everything. And yeah, we will go from there. See you guys soon.
Hello guys, so it is many days later. I feel like I keep saying that on this vlog, but we have been here for a little while and sometimes I just don't vlog and then I just pick up the camera and I'm like, I should vlog this. But quite an update, we actually extended our trip. It is currently Wednesday, March 2nd. We were supposed to leave yesterday on the 1st, but we decided to extend our trip another week. So we're here until next Monday. So we are actually in a new Airbnb because the other Airbnb was booked, but we actually don't mind because this Airbnb that we found is actually amazing. So this is when you walk in, it's like more of a beachy vibe, but it's just so cozy and like perfect for the next week. A little desk there. We're still unpacking, so everything's kind of out. People here are so nice and left like a bunch of snacks. We've already like dug into some. But yeah, and then here's the kitchen. And over here, it's like a little closet. The bathroom, nice tub. And the bedroom, but I feel like Mitch is changing. Mitch? I'm naked. Oh. <laughs> Well, I won't show you guys the bedroom, but um, yeah, this is it. And what's really cool is the outside. So basically this Airbnb is like a shared kind of thing. So basically there's like four different units along here, but it's nice because you're basically still really private. But over here it has this whole like patio. This is all shared outside. It's so cool. Like, look over here. Like, so nice. It almost feels like you're on a resort or something. So this morning we sat over here and just had our coffee and like did emails and stuff and it was so nice. This chair is like everything. Imagine having a nap on there. Like that is an ideal situation. And over here, like big table they even have foosball and this pond so nice like the sound of it wow and over here there are stairs going up to a rooftop but there's a code that we don't have so hopefully we can figure that out this airbnb is really cool and when, once we leave i'll be able to share it with you guys um, in case any of you guys want to stay here. So yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Our last place was good in terms of the location. Like it was literally right on Melrose by Earth Cafe. So we woke up and got to like go there almost every day, which was so nice. And it was right by tons of shops and like a lot of the places that we wanted to check out. It wasn't as like cozy as this place. Um, but I feel like every Airbnb has its like pros and cons, but this place, honestly, 10 out of 10. We are loving it and it's in a really central area so we can like Uber around still, but we are loving this. So we're gonna be here for the next like five or six days. And yeah, today we are planning on going to Malibu because we have been here for a little over two weeks and haven't gone yet. Oh, Mitch is singing away. Do you guys hear him? <laughs> Um, we haven't been to Malibu yet. I've never been. So today is like the nicest day for this week. So we thought it'd be a perfect day to go there. And we want to go to this place called Mal Malibu Farms, which is like a restaurant right on the water. So yeah, Mitch is actually currently singing away for a TikTok. So I'm out here waiting for him. Louis is living his best life, right bud?
so we are at the Malibu Beach and it is so beautiful here. Sometimes it's hard to like take it in. Like I look at some of these views and I'm just like trying to take it in. And it's like hard to take it in with my eyes. I don't know if that makes sense, but it is really beautiful and we are just chilling. I'm having a little white claw. We just finished lunch at Malibu farms and it was really good. I got the lobster mac and cheese and got the tacos. It was excellent. So yeah, we're just gonna chill here and honestly just take in the Malibu vibes. Maybe walk down the beach, check out some of these insane houses that are along here and head back home. So yeah, that's the day. I don't know if you guys can see but Mitch is like down there skipping rocks. It's so funny because I feel like guys just always have the instinct to like do things like that. Like he was just over at those rocks over there just like checking the rocks out and then he started throwing the rocks. Seems fun for him. He always loves to do stuff like that. It's so funny. What's up guys? It is the next day. It is Thursday, the day after our Malibu day. And today we are just chilling. Louis says hello. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're just chilling, exploring our new area that our Airbnb is at. We went for a little bit of a hike. There's this really cool lookout um, of the whole city that we walked up to. And then we just grabbed sandwiches at this little market down the street. And now we're going to be taking a picture of this look right now. And yeah, just having a little bit more of a chill day. So I thought this was the perfect spot to end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for our trip. We only have a few more days here, but I don't think I'll be vlogging much more of it. So um, yeah, but I think I got a lot of the highlights of our trip. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you for the next one. Bye.